Okay, so um, in this um, uh, video, I'm going to show uh, a demo on the set URL bit, uh, the, the actual effect of the set URL bit again. Uh, let's take a look at user bin password. Okay, so as mentioned, uh, as you can see, the set URL bit is actually set. So now I'm going to make a copy of this um, program to my home directory. Okay, uh, so let's take a look. Okay, and uh, I have the password file here, right? The one that I just copied. Okay, is uh, and if you compare it to the one in the user bin password, and you compare it with the password file here, you can see that um, they are of the same size, uh, but the ownerships are different. Huh? The one that I copied to my home directory is owned by myself, the Kelly, and owned by the user uh, Kelly. Sorry, the user Kelly and the root the group Kelly, right? But uh, the other difference is that um, the uh, set URDB is not set for the copy that I made uh, in my own directory. Okay. Other than that, if you were to do a diff to see the differences, you can see that there are actually no difference. They are uh, the two files are identical except for the permissions and the ownership. Okay. So, uh, what happened when I use this copy of the password? To set my password instead, you can see uh, it's prompting me for my current password. Alright, and it's prompting for a new password. And you can see there is actually a authentication token manipulation error that is shown here. Why that happened is because uh, the uh, password uh, binary, when it tries to manipulate the password, it actually needs to write back to the etc shadow file, which uh, in the case of a set UID program, okay, in the case of the original binary, which has set UID, is able to do so because of the ownership is root. So when you execute, it's executing as root, is able to write back uh, to the slash etc uh, shadow file. 